What have I done wrong that made you this wicked of me? Yeah, 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 yeah. Your heart is bitter whenever you see me. Why? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Why do you allow Satan to control you? You have sold it yourself. You were sad. Who is this? Food. This is for yesterday's food. This woman is just so wicked. How am I supposed to eat this food? How am I supposed to eat this bread food? How? How am I not a human being? I don't know why she, she likes acting, acting like, like a witch. What's going on here? Akumi, where is the food I gave you to eat? I've eaten it. Ma. Hmm? I've eaten it. Open your mouth. Ancestral lineage. Start eating it. Do you know what it takes to get chicken? No. Has your mother, has your mother ever fucking had useless life giving you chicken before? Why are you this girl so? Eat it. I'm going to send it out there. Eat it! Why she look at you? You have to go. Do you know what it takes to buy chicken? Yeah, I'm set already. What's the time? What's the actual time for the meeting? Okay, okay. 5 p.m. Okay, okay. No problem. Yeah, I'll get it when coming. No issues. No issues. All right. What is wrong with you? My tummy has been biting me since yesterday. Please, I want to go and see my mother. Please. Ah, I couldn't. I know you were missing her so much, but it's still too early to visit. <laughs> what did you eat that, that your tummy has been biting you? <laughs> eh? What did you eat? <laughs> I couldn't. <laughs> I couldn't. <laughs> wait, 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 what did you eat? <laughs> I couldn't. Jesus Christ. I couldn't. Honey! I couldn't. Oh my god. Babe! Sorry, sorry, sorry. Sorry. I am sorry, my love. 
How are you feeling now? I feel better. It's okay. I believe that soon we'll have our own child. The doctor assured me that when next you get pregnant, he'll keep you on constant check so we can get the desired result. Okay. When? Because I am tired. Baby, baby, it's okay. You don't have to cry, okay? It's okay. <laughs> This is not what we should be talking about now. You need all the rest you can get. Okay? I'm sorry. <laughs> it's okay. Just rest. Relax yourself. Okay? Just rest your back. Alright? Okay. It's okay. Just rest. It's okay. She has rest constantly and all that. What do we call this one again? This is tiring, you know. In the situation of I and my wife, I told her we're having two kids. And she would never go against what I've told her to, to do. If she if she like let her try and have more more than two kids with me. I said two. And she agreed, and that's fine now. So I think you need to, you need to. I don't know. The most painful part of it is if she doesn't conceive, then I I'll be thinking something else, but in this situation, she conceives, yet she keeps having miscarriages. I'm so confused. Bernard, I want to ask you something. Have you, have you actually been following the doctor's prescription and everything he has told you to do? Have you been following it step by step, the way you were actually asked to follow by the doctor? I can't say it. it's tiring. I, I, I have. I just believe maybe I still have hope. Maybe if she conceives again, if we follow the doctor just like you said, I believe it will stay. In other words, see, uh, do you know what I see now? I think you worry too much. That is just the truth. You worry too much. See, these things won't work when you are too worried. Stop being anxious for anything. Calm down, relax. It will work out. Yeah? I've always told you, man, not be your home and be the man. Look at how you're crying here. If you want to listen, calm down, it will work. I'm not crying. I'm just worried. Uh, crying and worried at the same time. Man, not be, be the man in your house. It's close. I'm the man of my house. When you see a man talking, please. Maxwell, I'm the man in my house. Sit like a man first. <laughs> Hi, I'm so happy to <laughs> see you. Thank you so much, Auntie. You know, uh, you see, <laughs> it's been a long time I visited the village. Yes. Even when you lost your husband, I'm like, I wanted to come back, but you know, the nature of my job, I couldn't make it down here. Then I said to myself that when next I'll return, you'll be the first person I'll visit. <laughs> You're welcome. I really appreciate it. Thank you I'm so happy much. to see you, honestly. <laughs> Akutne, how are you? I'm fine, thank you. Wow. She's all grown now. <laughs> yes, <Yeah>, so <laughs> that is children for you. Yeah. <laughs> As a matter of fact, I have not heard from... 
her elder brother ever since he traveled out through a friend of his. Oh. He couldn't even make it to his father's barrier. Wow. Mm. Are you for real? Yes. You see, Auntie, it's not really easy. Oh. It's not easy. You see, going to a foreign country to make ends meet, it's not that easy as we all think. You know, many people think when you go there, you just block money. Not that easy like that, too. But I believe he'll be back soon. Hmm? I hope so, my brother. If not that God blessed me with Akunne, at a time I never even expected it. Oh. I would have been like a woman without a child. Oh. Oh, <laughs> God has a reason for everything. Yes. <laughs> I was only wishing he's around at least to give his little sister the best life she deserves. Hmm? Especially education-wise. I don't want her to stay in this village. Honestly. Hmm. Coming to that, um, I think you don't have to worry yourself about that. I can go with her. Yeah? Yeah. See, my wife and I, we are still looking for a child of our own. Oh. And, um, you know, I pray. I know God will bless us someday with our own child. So she can come with me. She will stay with us. I will enroll her in a good school. Yeah, from there. Really? Yeah. I'm <laughs> glad to hear this. Uh, is she will even help your wife out? Oh? Ah. Yes. She knows how to cook. Yes. Run errands. She can do all the house wait, wait, chores. Wait, I couldn't make her cook. Ah. Yes. Are you sure? Yes. How many delicacies can you cook? A lot. Can you do a goosey? Yes. Look at what you're saying. What of her? Yes, I can even cook over chakra. Really? Hey, wait. If you taste her soup, eh? I want eating soup. You will confirm yes. it. I Don't worry. You cook for me in this city. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no problem. No problem. No problem. So you're going Aku, to you have to get ready. Mm -hmm. You have to get ready. Okay. I'll be leaving in two days' time. All right. Mm -hmm. uh, I'll take you along with you me. See? Yeah, ah! Thank you, sir. Oh, thank you. Thank you very well, much. I'll God test bless. you, Gusi. So blessed. You don't have to worry. <laughs> <laughs> Hey. Wow! So you're going to the city soon? Yes. Uh -huh. Amada, I am so sorry. Tell me, how are you feeling now? <sighs> I'm good. I mean, life goes on, right? I know. And I understand perfectly how you feel. But don't worry, I know very soon you will carry your own child. Okay. You know, the most painful part of it is that I avoided everything that would have made me lose this baby. When my husband and I was told we were one month gone, okay. he stopped me from doing every hard work. Not even going to work. I had to employing more workers. And yet, I lost the baby. It's just so painful. I understand. It's okay. What? Tell me, have you tried IVF? That should be the last option. Queenet, what are you saying? Don't worry. Don't worry still. Very soon you will have a smooth and successful pregnancy, I know. Okay? Amen. Amen. <laughs> Talking about your husband, where is he? Uh, my husband went to the village. He usually does that every million. Oh, I see. But he's coming back soon, yeah? Yes, I will. Don't worry. It's okay. Cheer up. You'll be fine. Alright? Ah, uh, I don't know. Can I have water? Yes, why not? Thank you. Okay. Easy. Okay. There is no peace for the weekend. You went too far. You took what you cannot be. No peace for the weekend. There's no hiding place You can only 
Fine, baby. Good afternoon, ma. Uh, me too. I, I come there. He never told me about her before bringing her, did you? You should have at least come down. Let me rest. Freshen up. Then we'll talk about it. No, honey. We are still talking about it now. Now, what in the green body is that adolescent elder doing in my house? Okay. Akone is my little cousin's sister. I just decided to help her mother by bringing her here to start school. I didn't bring her to be house help. I don't understand as what. Is here some charity organization for some midgets? in the country? I don't understand that. Why would you bring in someone for me? I don't need anybody. I told you I am fine. I wasn't complaining. And here you are not even looking remorseful about it. I don't get it. Remorseful about what? That I try to help someone in need? Come on, why are you being so unreasonable? What? Oh, now I am being unreasonable. Really? We shall see. It's like your wife doesn't like me. No, not at all. I, get, I feel she's not in the right frame of mind. Do you, do you get? She's not in a good mood. Don't worry, I'm used to all that. By the time you spend some time here, you'll get used to her. She's always like that sometimes when she's not happy. Okay? So there is nothing to worry about. Just come in. You 
know how to take my clothes and my bag into the room. But you don't know how to keep my food. I am your husband. I am the one who pays your bills. So I will go out there, make money to clothe you, to feed you, to house you, and the simple task of making food for me so I can come in and eat. You can't. Is that too much to ask? Your food is sure that I was waiting for you. Don't talk when I'm talking! Sorry. Oh, you're talking when I'm talking. Okay. So it has gotten to that point. No, you are talking about it. Jesus Christ! <laughs> By the time I close my eyes and open it, and you're still here, I will kill you and I will take your corpse, not to your village, but to the forest. So Linda, this is all I've been suffering from Maswell ever since I married him. Wow. I mean, I have never had a single peace of mind in this marriage. I've not. Mm. Well, Queen F, listen to me. Men are toys in our hands. Mm -hmm. You've been the one playing wife material. But when you're ready to do something, I don't know. Mm. That's sad. It's okay. Hmm? I'm here for you. It's okay. When you're ready to do something, just come to me, okay? Linda will always be there for you. Mm. Thank you. Man. Man. So I see you off. Okay. I do. Thank you. This is my house. 
Are you okay? Yeah, I'm sure. <laughs> Look at you. Who is she? Who? She. Oh. For Christ's sake, why are you standing there staring directly into the eyes of your boss? I am your boss. Are you aware? Will you girls with me out of here with your smelling body? No, 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 no. Excuse me. I said leave! No, no, babe. Don't talk to her like that. See, I would I don't want you to meddle. I don't want you to meddle into our face, please. Please. Better go and do it. Even though she's your domestic staff, you have to treat her right. Madam, you're really trying. This your work is not easy. You're trying. He's my husband. I'm not a maid. What? Your what? So you're married and you never told me? You're even insulting your wife before me. Referring her as your maid? How evil can you be? You're heartless. Can you just listen to me? I, I, you're my baby. You're the one I love. Forget about this. Can you just calm down? Let me explain. Can I, can I explain to you, please? Don't you ever come close to me again. She wants you to go, but it's not possible. This is my house. And I will make sure I fulfill the promise I made to your mother before you taking you out from the village. I'll see you through school. And I'll watch you become a great person tomorrow. It's all right. This is your brother's house, so you have to feel comfortable. If she does anything to, if to you tomorrow, you let me know. Feel free. Yeah, Ako. I'm sorry. Sorry. It's not like that. Okay, uh, see, let's go back home. Go back home. Can you hear yourself talk? See, baby, let me, let me tell you. That house is my house. And I dictate what happens in my, in my house. Nobody does that for, 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 for I me. Mean. Please, let's go, come, 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 let's go back. How can somebody, somebody don't know, tell, they tell you that, that, that she's my wife, and you just won't walk away? Leave, leave it that's it, Joe. Come, let's go, go, go. Please be quiet. Men like you are the reason why women go extra mile to deal with their husbands. Yeah. Who will deal with me in my own house when I'm the owner of the house, when I'm the ogre, when I'm the lord? You want somebody to come and deal with me? Leave that. Go. It's come, John. You have done yourself to the moon. You have made your heart harden. If only a meter up I'm doing my best, yet you're not satisfied. You are heartless, you are very wicked. What have I done wrong that made you this wicked on me? Your heart is bitter whenever you see me 
Why do you allow Satan to control you? Il est là à briguer ta langue, la peine se déclare. You are so dear, so. You are sadist. You don't have a joy at all. You don't have peace of mind anymore. Il est là à briguer ta langue, la peine se déclare. You are so dear, so. You are sadist. You don't have a joy at all. What do you want to achieve? With this your wickedness, Remember there is God in all we do. Remember, you are sadist, you don't have a joy at all. Law of karma is real, remember one memory. God sees everything, you could not be funny. You are sadist, God sees everything, you don't have a joy at all. You have turned yourself to demon. You have made your heart harden. If only me tera oburo kama adiro ya. I'm doing my best, yet you're not satisfied. Oh, you. So you are the weapon they send to fashion against me. Eh? By the time I'm done with you today. By the time I'm done with you today, eh? In your next life, you will never put your mouth in what does not concern you. You will mind your business, know your boundary. By, by the time I'm done with you now, eh? Oh, 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 oh. you want to run in my own house. So I mind you to take me on the race. Eh, I stand there. Don't move. What's happening? I'm doing clean up, dinner clean up. Auntie said I should clean the whole house. Or oh, just you or you and Auntie? Just me. She said I should clean everywhere, including the rooms. Just you? It's not possible now. Where is she? She's upstairs. It's okay. It's okay. It's it's late already. Go sleep. Okay. Go sleep. Thank you. Look at her phone. That girl is too small for the kind of chores you're giving her in this house. Really? But she is not too small to eat the amount of food that I hate for her to eat. What are you even saying? This house is too big. You and I usually do the chores by weekends. Oh, really? Ma, you want this little girl to clean the whole house? What is wrong with that? How possible? Were you expecting me to be the one to clean up the whole house? Why she just folds her arms like some mini octopus? Right? That's been rejected from, 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 the, from her mother's land. Why she does nothing? That was, that's what you were expecting me to do. Please, give me some this break. This a little innocent girl we are talking about. You just have to take it easy on her. Mm. Listen. No matter what you see, I will never stop giving her those chores. And I think it's time for me to go down to the kitchen, make something useful for us to eat. Other than I'm talking about some midgets. I'm too big for that. Mm. 
You like? Yeah, very mm. nice. Where is Akunia? Um, Akunia. She should be busy at the backyard. She'll soon be done. Oh, <laughs> here she comes. I'm mm. both spreading the clothes. Mmm. Okay. Your food is in the kitchen. Okay, ma. <laughs> She's really hard working. Yeah, very. And very useful. Mm -hmm. You know what they say. <laughs> Leave what they wrote on the bus and enter the bus. Yeah. <laughs> this one, no be small engine, you know. <laughs> <laughs> small motor with the biggest engine. Yes, so. <laughs> 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 What's going on here? Akumi! Ma? Where is the food I gave you to eat? I've eaten it, ma. Hmm? I've eaten it. Open your mouth. Ah! You are a fatal liar. Where did you put that food? I've eaten it, ma. Akumi! It's even hot. Ancestral lineage. Start eating it. Do you know what it takes to get chicken? No. Has your mother, has your mother ever fucking had useless like giving you chicken before? Why are you just not soft? Eat it. I'm going to send it out there. Eat it! What about you? Do you have to go? Do you know what it takes to, to, to buy chicken? Yeah, I'm set already. What's the time? What's the actual time for the meeting? Okay, okay. 5 p.m. Okay, okay. No problem. Yeah, I'll get it when coming. No issues. No issues. All right. What is wrong with you? My tummy has been biting me since yesterday. Please, I want to go and see my mother. Please. Ah, I couldn't. I know you were missing her so much, but it's still too early to visit. Ah. What did you eat that, that your tummy has been biting you? Eh? What did you eat? I couldn't. Ah. I couldn't. Ah. Wait, 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 what did you eat? Ah. Ah. I couldn't. Akunne! Honey! Akunne! Oh my god! Ben! Sorry, sorry, sorry. 
Sure. I just hope she'll be fine. Honey, I understand you're supposed to be worried. As you can see, she is sleeping, and once she wakes up, she will be fine. The doctor said it's food poisoning, but we all ate the same thing yesterday. Yes, we did. Maybe she ate the stale food in the pot. I remember asking her to wash the pot. You know how kids can be. That could be the cause. Exactly. <sighs> I was so worried. See, I, I, I have this meeting that I ought to be there since morning. But I rescheduled it because of this. I'm so sorry, babe. Uh, see, please, just take good care of her, right? Let me, uh, let me run along. Right. I will. Bye. I love you. I know you've not been as much of our Kunne staying in this house. But ever since she's been here, she has done absolutely nothing wrong to you. And she has been of immense help to you too. So what point are you driving at? I mean, she always put an eye on her. Imagine if she had lost her life in the process. She's sick in this house eh, 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 without you noticing. Eh, eh, oh shit, please. What's that? What's the meaning of that nonsense? It's the guts and the temerity for me. I don't understand. Why should I babysit her? If I told her I should have a child, why would you think I would have a midget like her? Don't you dare, please. You know the way you went to the village to pick her up, right? Somewhere you should put your eyes on her. If you cannot take care of her yourself, better still take her back to her mother. Flick her off this house. Don't include me with your demons. I promised the mother that I'll give her the best. And that is what I will do. I can't just take her back to her mother like that. Very nice. Good job. You know, that actually proves to me that I am married to a humanity. A very good man at that. So what you're going to do is, the same way you went to pick her up from the gutters, that is the same way you're going to be taking care of her. Don't you dare include me to your principalities because I will not be involved with it. What the hell? I ain't been sitting that shit you call a midget. Give me some credit, please. What is this? Not like we're talking about a full grown human being here. A half human being? I'm here talking this bullshit with you. I don't even know what this girl has done to you. You just hate her for no reason. See, that's what I'm talking about. This girl has made you go crazy. Please, you know what? Look at you. All that men are out there trying to satisfy their wives. If you do not know what to do with your time, come give me some head on you. Make yourself useful. Bernard. Yeah. Um, I've been wanting to ask you this, but tell me the truth. Are you sure you don't want to take that girl back to her mother? She is just a little girl with so much ambition. Listen, Maxwell, I want to be part of her dreams. I want her to achieve her goals. I think my wife is just being frustrated because of her inability to have a child. That's what I feel. See, from the look of things, I am not sure you are ready to keep that girl in your house. You're not ready. Listen, let me tell you. My wife cannot. We will never try that nonsense in my house. It has never happened. It will never have it will never happen. It cannot happen. See, listen. Eh? <laughs> my wife cannot dictate what happens in my house. That is why I am the man. That is why I am the head. That is why I am her lord. Do you understand? <laughs> Listen, Masmo. This is marriage you're talking about. Your wife has the right to air her view. Okay? Mm. 
I know you are always aggressive. I'm not as abusive as you are. You don't always have to be abusive to the point of hitting your wife. She's an adult like you. Bernard. You see, this is the point where I keep having issues with you. This is the point where you don't understand my kind of person. This, let me tell you something about women. Women are like cows. You see when all this Malu, they guard their cows. When a cow misses its direction and tries to go the wrong way, what does it do? He hits the cow with a long stick and the cow goes into the right direction. That is how you're supposed to follow women. You hit them back to the right direction you want them to follow. That is why you are the husband. That is why God created you to be the husband, the head of the home. Do you understand? Yeah. yeah. I, 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 see, I, I'm, only, I'm only advising you as my friend do because I am consigned. I really appreciate you, but I just want to bring to your notice that I have a wife and not a cow. Okay? And I am not a cattle rearer. All right? She's a human being like me, so, so she reserves the right to be treated as one. There are better ways to handle this thing. Patience is the key. You have to always be patient with these people. Once you don't do it, you lose it. All right? Okay, okay, you better still go and keep a cow in your house. Why are you getting a wife? Are you sure you are happy the way you are now? Okay, why are you now complaining to me? You have made your heart happy. If only you met her, I hope you come on. I'm doing my best, yet you're not satisfied. Madam, can you can you be fast enough? Do you mind walking fast? You can't keep me waiting. I'm, I'm the one taking care of you. I think you don't you don't take care of me. The least. I want you to get every single thing in that list. Am I understood? And do not come back to this house late. Because if you do, I will be feeding your soul to the cook of the house. Okay, this is the money. Come back early. Because what I will use to make lunch is also in the list. Okay? Alright, sir. Okay, get lost. Uh, ma, um, what about my transport money? Because they took out here yeah, is the exact money you gave me. Oh, really? Yes, your transport? Oh, I forgot your legs are so tiny. Oh, my name. So you can trek to the markets, right? Hold on. I'm going to call Bill Clinton. He's going to be getting you a private jet very soon. Just keep standing there. Okay, ma, please. How am I going to get to the market? Another question. Very brilliant question. You know, there's a ladder at the gate. Just carry it, bring it down to this place. Immediately you climb the fifth one, you will get to my nostrils. Through my nose, you get to my throat. Down my throat, you will be seeing the market. It's not too far. There's a woman selling onions close to the nose. It's not too far, you just see it there. So you're still mm. arguing with me? No, ma. You can't no, argue ma. with me. No, ma. Basta. I don't know what he wants me to do. Quinneth, you claim to love your husband. And you're always, always making excuses for him that he will definitely come around. So what am I supposed to do? Hmm? You know, I know that my, my marriage has been a hell. And I've been very patient. Thinking he will come around. But this time around, Linda would not take it anymore. I would not. My husband came home with a girl. He called me a maid before. But I told her that I'm not a maid. That I'm his wife. So she, she, she got upset finding out I was his wife. And she warned him not to come close to her again. My husband went after her. I don't know. I don't really know what happened again. He came back 
and beat the living daylight out of me, Linda. Linda, seriously, I do not know what to do. I don't know who to turn to. The best person I could think of is just you. I said... Quinez, listen to me. You haven't seen anything yet. Mm -hmm. You still see worse. So you better make up your mind on what to do. Linda, my mind is my doom. Seriously, because I can I cannot continue like this. I do not have peace. Look at me. I want peace. Because at the mention of my husband, this is fear that creeps me. I don't want to continue like this. I am tired. I'm tired. I'm glad your eyes are now finally wide open. I'll show you the way. As a matter of fact, I will take you through the right path. You know, you can't force someone to take key decisions in their lives. That's why I allowed you to take your time and make up your mind whenever you're ready. And I'm glad you're ready. Because next time, he won't only bring a woman to your house. Mm -mm. You'll end up cooking for her and washing her panties. I bet you. What did I do? I mean, my husband wasn't like this. <laughs> what happened? Simple. You showered him with too much love and submissiveness. Yes, and he took advantage of it. That's it. He took advantage of your love and submissiveness. <sighs> Instead of showing you love and care. But not to worry. We will put him in his rightful place. So, girlfriend, calm down, okay? Stop crying. Wipe your tears because where we come from, we don't shed tears for no man. You get that? It's okay, I'm fine. I didn't know you'd be coming back early. Welcome. I came here a few minutes ago, looked around everywhere for you, and you were nowhere to be found. Now, tell me in one sentence, where were you? I went to the market. I, I, I... I actually wanted to make your favorite tea, you know. But I just found out that things that I needed, it's not enough, so I, I went to get them. Did you listen to yourself? You've forgotten the fact that I am your husband. And a husband is supposed to be the shield. A husband is supposed to be the man. I am your lord. And you're supposed to be under me. You forgot the fact that as a woman and as, as a wife and as an inspiring mother, that's what you are. You are intended to be a mother, yet you don't have what it takes to be a mother. And you're supposed to always watch out for your kitchen and know when food stocks are about to be exhausted so you can replace them. You forgot that fact. This is the reason why you've been childless. This is why you've not been able to give me a child. Upon all the hard work I have been doing with you in the bedroom, every now and then I am going through some kind of hard work. Yes, no result. No single result. I've not even seen you tell me, uh, 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 my husband, I'm pregnant. Talk more of you having a miscarriage or anything that looks like it anytime, anywhere. Just for you to stand here, sit here, eat my food, walk around and invite dirty stinking visitors in my house. Are you mad? I've been having miscarriages. Due to your constant beating. If you talk while I am talking one more time. If you talk while I am still talking one more time. I will disable your dental formula. And I will make sure that you don't have teeth in the next five years. Come on, stand here.
you are very lucky that I'm in my good mood today. Extremely lucky that I am. Maxwell. Maxwell, take a deep breath. She is the weapon fashioned against you. So relax. Take a deep breath. Don't worry. Don't worry. So I've been talking to myself. So even the sense that you have could not remind you that you should go in there and get my food. And you are standing here looking at a new policy in my house. Are you mad? <laughs> Will you get us and get my food? This is my house. I dictate what happens in my house. I don't go and marry somebody who will come to my house and tell me what to do. Very foolish girl. Ignorant, hopeless, idiot. That will keep friends who don't have anything reasonable to do with themselves rather than to come and sit back and gossip and talk trash. People who can't even keep a man in their house. People who don't even have any man in their life. You bring them to my house to sit back here and talk. People who all they end up with is makeup and makeup and makeup. You bring them to my house, sit on my couch, and they sit here and you listen to yourselves without making food for your husband. You don't even have a reputable friend. I brought you from your father's house to come and give you repute, give you dignity, and you choose to go to the slums with people who are already in the slump, like the one sitting behind me. Don't you know you are a wife? You're supposed to be feeding me, washing my clothes, helping me to have kids. How many kids have you had for, for, for me? Even that's your stupid friend, how many kids does she have? You sit back here and chat with animals. People who can't even have a good makeup on them on, on their faces. People whose hairs are smelling. Their hair stinks. And they sit on my couch with their stinking hair. Stinking hair. Your hair stinks! <laughs> oh, Queen Earth. It's time to deal with this fool. Why did you trek? And she gave me the exact money I'm supposed to use to buy the items. She didn't add transport fees, so I trek. Please don't tell her. That is unacceptable. These things are not right. I understand the fact that I brought you to help her, but that doesn't mean she should. She, 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 
See the load you, you carried all by yourself, trekking from the market. I know you, I know you must be very hungry. You see, huh? you're even yawning, you see. You have no eating, you're trekking. Listen, if anything happened, even while I'm not around, when I come back, you let me know. That's what I expect from you. It doesn't mean you're bad or it doesn't mean you're trying to gossip my wife with me. But if anything happens to you, tell me. Then I will know how to handle it. That's no problem, sir. I'm okay. send you on an errand that far without transport fare. Take this. Make this Gary yourself. Use it and eat that soup. Just look at what this woman is giving to her fellow human being. I can imagine. So people are so evil, so wicked. How will God bless you? How will God answer your prayers with this kind of attitude? That way you are treating me as if I'm not your fellow human being. After I didn't even beg you people to bring me to this place. I don't know why you are treating me so bad like this. I just have to soak it. Put enough water. Because this thing is very good. Somebody that I've known since this morning, and now you're giving me this nonsense. 